For more on antibiotics addiction, I spoke to Dr. Ford Vox. Now, he's a board-certified physical, medical, and rehabilitation physician. I asked him how we got to this point in the first place with the overuse of antibiotics. Well, the overuse of antibiotics has probably occurred to some extent since the availability of antibiotics about 70 years ago. Uh, but it has certainly increased over time. I think there are a number of forces at play. Certainly much of the, uh, the interaction around antibiotics is prescription only, but there is some concern that physicians and other clinicians aren't using them as responsibly as we should. It's often very easy to be uh, driven and influenced by the individual patient that we're treating. Uh, perhaps when it is inappropriate, we might want to wait a little bit longer uh, to see if this antibiotic is absolutely necessary, recognizing that resistance is a real concern. I was reading somewhere where it said that agriculture uh, actually use agriculture, the antibiotics in the agriculture industry accounts for like 80% of antibiotic overuse in the United States. Is this true? That's right. Uh, it's estimated 80% uh, by weight of all antibiotics are used for animals. And the indication for animals is actually they're trying to help those animals put on weight, uh, help prevent uh, disease. Uh, it's not really considered uh, appropriate uh, by any federal authority at this point, but there is no regulation for it. In a nutshell, what is standing in the way of, of curbing the use? Is it the, the, the lobbying that's going on? Well, when you're looking at the, uh, the agricultural industry, I think that's part of it. Uh, a number of, uh, of large uh, producers have kind of uh, voluntarily signed on to the CDC guidelines. I think that'll be helpful, but actually enforcing it industry-wide. Uh, and that is a big factor in terms of the, the development uh, of these organisms and how they get into us uh, through the food system. Uh, another big player is certainly uh, clinicians, uh, as we've mentioned. Uh, there's a lot of education that still has to occur there, a lot of uh, restraint on the part of individual, individual clinicians. The consumer as well needs to know that it's not in their best interest to, for example, demand uh, that z pack if it is, in fact, a virus or something they should be able to fight off themselves. Every time you take one of these antibiotics, you're kind of uh, messing with your own microbiome. Uh, it's certainly a great part of what helps us keep us healthy uh, is a natural balance of the correct uh, organisms in our gut. And we're, we're disrupting that every time we take an antibiotic. So we actually want to use those uh, really sparingly.